This video will show how to force calibrate an industrial scientific gas monitor. So first I've got the unit turned on and you can see this flipper lock here. If I had a unit with a built-in pump, I would put it to this and put the pump in or the pump unit in. This one doesn't have a built-in pump, so I put it to this the symbol with no pump. I can actually lock this into place as well if I'm always using a non-pumped uh, diffusion type unit. If I pop this in, and I make sure that this is down fairly firmly so it makes a good seal, you'll see that the dock will start to communicate with the gas monitor. Um, I want to bump, to, or sorry, I want to calibrate this unit. So if I hit the middle button, enter here, and I can go into the instrument, I've got that highlighted. I can choose to bump test, I've got that highlighted, or I can choose to calibrate. I go here, are you sure? Yes, I've got that highlighted. So it's checking to make sure the available or the gas is available. Also, if you're doing this, you want to check the date on the gas to make sure that the gas has not expired. Also that your connections to the gas cylinder are all connected and even the connections on the back of the dock are all tight. So you can see this is getting ready to calibrate. And I'll just let you watch it go through. You can see that it's showing a yellow light. That means that the dock is busy. It's either talking to the monitor. In this case, it's actually calibrating. So it's going to zero the monitor with clean air. So the dock should be located in a clean air, like a clean, an area with uh, relatively clean air. And later it will actually apply the calibration gas to adjust the readings of each sensor. So it's calibrating the H2S now. When the dock is performing a bump test, it's just checking that the sensors are responding fast enough that there is an audible and visual alarm. During a calibration, it's actually adjusting the sensors to match the concentration in the cylinder, electronically adjusting it basically. So it takes a while longer because the um, sensors first have to be zeroed with the clean air and then spanned with the concentration of gas in the cylinder and it has to stabilize a bit. So it takes a little while to do it. Normally again this is scheduled roughly once a month but it can be forced like this if you question any readings or if there is any issues with the monitor to kind of dial it back into uh, a proper calibration. It's calibrating the carbon monoxide now. And next it'll do the uh, combustible gas. In this case, we're using pentane. Now things that may uh, cause it to fail a calibration is if this lid is not down tight and we're not getting a good seal on the sensor like so the gas makes it and flows under the sensor correctly. So now it's purging the gas out of this chamber by the sensors. The unit in the dock is an MX4, but it basically works the same for the uh, Pro 5 or Pro 4. So now you can see we've got a yellow light that shows that the dock is still busy, but a green light. So it's basically charging, That's that it's busy because it's charging, but the green light says everything is good. So it actually turns the monitor off. I can now take it out and uh, turn it back on and use it if I'd like to.